This is map 10 of the old map compilation, which was uh, intended to follow on from a prison design. Not that I'd actually been in a prison, this is just sort of a doom prison, so there'll be some cages of enemies in mostly. And we've started off in an impossibly possible to access room, ambushing a demon. And my first place cyber demon here. I'm fairly certain that Hank Lucas back as well as the Doom said something about ledges being a dynamic way to enter a room. So that's probably why I felt the need to drop the player in and start his map. That book was sort of like my design Bible. Pretty much the only thing I uh, really learnt from, aside from copying other examples. Uh, you can make a non-blocking version of that, so the fact that I'm having to walk into it probably a sign of poor designing. Uh, as I remember it, we've got a secret here. A poorly designed one seeing as every step's its own secret sector. Got some extra weapons. I'm fairly certain if you drop down there you die. Or you're stuck forever one of the two. I think in the interest of getting through this map I'm not gonna find out. Yeah, much as I thought we've got like a sort of stone, stone and caged bars sort of designer. But yeah, having flying enemies in here makes a lot of sense because it means they can sort of traverse the deeper bit in the middle. Remember, that's really clever design there. Souls in this hole here. Problem is that if you jump in that room there, you'll fall down into the pit and you can't get out. It's also probably one of the few times that I've seen doors done where you can see all four sides of it. I don't know if that makes the chunkiness a bit more acceptable. But I think it's not as bad with the way this uh, area is laid out. So I suppose sometimes some things are design choices. really a secret there. I think the reason I had to do that was because when I was trying to make a um, like a, a mid texture that you couldn't that you couldn't see through because it was a multi-patch texture it wasn't displaying properly in the uh, original game. So I think in the end I just sort of hoped that people wouldn't notice that if you walked into this room you could get through there. But weak secret design but because of technical limitations at the time. I have enough equipment now to take on that side beam down there, but I suspect if I go down there it's just going to splatter us. It's quite a blocky, uncomfortable design around here. This ceiling here is the default texture for the EU, because it didn't do what um, modern editors do, where when you insert a sector adjacent to something, it keeps the ceiling. I've forgotten to change that and just left it there like that. It's uh, sort of a shortcoming of the days. Old secret rocket rocking just coming out here. I wonder where the fifth secret is because I can't remember and I don't know where I'd have hidden it. Unless the uh, exit sector counts, which it could. Okay, so we're going to have to fight him without dying. Or make a run for it. I feel like this is pretty weak design here, because as long as he's got me trapped here, it's a very, very difficult struggle to get out. You can get one of them cacodemons to hit him, though, we'll make ourselves free. Yep, we're in the clear. Not the best play I've ever put in, I think. There we go. No, I don't know what, I don't know what the final secret is there. Probably uh, 
just a missed sector in that one I did earlier, perhaps one of the steps. And this is a very huge uh, door here leading to the exit area. Once again, we've got the weakness of the uh, door open straight into the sky. If we'd have had any sort of upper lip there, even if it did limit the uh, opening of the door, making it a bit less grand, it would have been considerably stronger from a visual point of view. Um, it's quite a small map, to be honest. doesn't do an awful lot, but I think with an early mapper experimenting with putting a boss enemy in, there's, a, there's probably good to sort of limit the ambitions there and get used to what you're doing. It's, it's an approach I'd recommend to other mappers, to be honest. Yeah, you know, overall this is probably the most consistent map you'll play in this map set because everything follows a sort of stone or metal design. There aren't any rooms with like clashing garish textures. Not, not really too much more to say to be honest. Relatively short map, relatively short video I guess. So I'll leave it there for now. Until next time.